I'm checking in today on October the 17th, 2008 from Detroit and with me is a real Detroit expert, Jeanette uh, Pierce from Inside Detroit, uh, a great um, locally based nonprofit organization that helps uh, locals and uh, out-of-towners explore the city through architectural tours, history tours, restaurant tours, everything you might ever want to know about Detroit. And we're on Belle Isle right now, which is a beautiful urban park. Let me pan around a little bit to give you an idea of this beautiful place. It's located right in the middle of the Detroit River, Windsor on this side, the Canadian side, and a gorgeous fountain here that we'll talk about in a second. So hi, Jeanette. Hello. And what do we have here? We have a statue here of a fellow named James Scott who lived from 1831 to 1910. Who is, who is James Scott? James Scott is who this uh, monument and this fountain and this entire area um, was made for and memorial to him. But it was a really funny story because he actually, um, he was a really rich guy, uh, and but he was also a womanizer, a gambler, a drinker, and an all-around kind of not exactly embraced by society. He always reminds me of uh, Rhett Butler and Gone with the Wind, kind of, that he just didn't care what society thought. So much so, though, that he liked to actually, you know, make them mad and make them, and make them angry a little bit. So when he died, he left tons of money to build this memorial to him. And so the city folk and the society folk were faced with a dilemma. Well, we hate this guy and we don't want to build a memorial to him, but we would really like to have a big gorgeous fountain and monument, so I guess we're going to. So he ended up getting the last laugh and we got this great fountain, which was designed by Cass Gilbert, who also did the Woolworth Building in New York and the Supreme Court Building in Washington, D.C. Wonderful. Let's have a little walk here. I want to show you this, uh, this gorgeous fountain. It's just absolutely astounding. When, when was it built, roughly? This is um, 1923. 1923. Mm -hmm. And it's a very extensive fountain, actually, with three levels yes. of, of the fountain, right? Yep, and all marble, everything, uh -huh. expensive marble. And lots of details, like the turtles, and yes. as we go down, there's um, lions and fish and all sorts of animals mm -hmm. carved into the marble. Yeah, I can see the turtles, I can see the lions. What are these things there with the, the horns, these, these things? Um, they're like seahorses. Oh, seahorses, yep. that's what that is, okay. And if we walk straight ahead, of course, we're looking, what direction is this, uh, westward? That is uh, southwest. West, yeah, mm -hmm. southwest. You can see downtown Detroit straight ahead, right here, the Renaissance Center, yep. headquarters of General Motors Corporation. Yep. And I wanted to show you the second level of this fountain. Whoops. And in front of it, as you mentioned, Jeanette, there is a man-made lake. They actually expanded the island a little bit so that they could put and get, put the lake here and have these multiple levels to the fountain. Wonderful. So this is the second level of the fountain right here. Beautiful. And there's a third level even down there. All right here, smack dab in the middle of downtown Detroit. Yep, yeah, downtown Detroit. Wonderful. Let me give you a final look back at this gorgeous fountain. What is the name of the fountain? The Scott Fountain. Scott Fountain, obviously named after James Scott. That's correct. Wonderful. We'll have a look at the rest of Belle Isle and come back to you in a second.